Claudio, I just remember so many estimates coming now about what oil is going to do, given the fact that China is one of the biggest or consumers, rather, and importers of oil out there. Is this going to have an effect on the oil market? Good morning. Yeah, uh, we indeed look at uh, a, a huge impact uh, for, uh, for the oil market due to this uh, uh, virus outbreak. Uh, we, we know that China is a very large consumer of oil, a very large uh, importer of oil. We have developed a best case scenario and a, and a worst case scenario. In the worst case scenario, we are looking for an oil demand reduction just in the month of February of 4 million barrels a day. This is, a, 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 is going to be a very huge impact. In the best case scenario, we are still looking at a oil demand reduction of 1.6 million barrels per day. So it's very significant, and the market is reacting to this demand destruction right now. So, so Claudio, let, let, let's kind of put this in perspective. From your, from your side of things, we've already seen a, a steady, and, and maybe not even steady, a pretty precipitous decline in oil prices, not just U.S. benchmark, but world benchmarks as well. How much of that scenario or how much of it is already being priced into the market? Is it tilted more towards the worst case at this stage, or is there still a long way to go for oil prices down if the worst stage really does come to fruition? That's a very good po That's a very good question. Uh, what we know for sure right now is that uh, the, the, the uh, transportation lockdown in China is having an effect. Uh, the flight cancellation is having an effect. Uh, I don't think we are yet at a point we can say this is the worst case scenario. As a matter of fact, I would say the worst case scenario would play out if China is not able to go back to work, business as usual, next week. That would be a, a, a signpost that we are going towards more the worst case scenario. So far, what I would say is that we are more towards the best case scenario and uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, Brent, so the international benchmark at $55 per barrel is pretty much a fair price right now with, uh, uh, with the numbers of the best case scenario. Claudio, before we let you go, just a few moments left here. Let's talk about what data points you will be watching, economic or otherwise, that will make you change that model or that projection. Definitely, we need to look at uh, the expansion of this virus. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, reporter from China earlier was making the point that uh, we, uh, we could have global reverberation in terms of the uh, global supply chain, not just oil. If that is the case, so if we're looking for a, a persistent uh, uh, lockdown in China, that will have uh, economic reverberation and therefore oil demand rever uh, reverberation throughout not just this quarter, but even the next quarter. So what I'm really looking at is the pace of uh, spreading of this virus. Right now we are at 20,000 people infected. If this goes on and on, not just in China, but the rest of the world, then we are going back to the, uh, to the drawboard and uh, our numbers will change accordingly.